Hi, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the short review why when you will eat more fat will st stimulate and spike more insulin how it is possible because some people say that it will not work and buffer the insulin and decrease the uh, insulin spike so uh, according to my opinion you can learn and i will give the information with the proof for example so whenever you will eat more and more fat but not glucose not protein so that uh, fat is fat and not stimulate the uh, pancreas in this way it will not stimulate so it's okay i am agreeing uh, uh, i am admitting about this opinion but this will not work because when you will eat more fat first of all the fat will be going to the liver and will go into the liver in the form of a free fat yes in glycerol or low density lipoprotein something every type of the protein like cholesterol etc so in this way so number one thing is that it will convert into the cholesterol okay this is the uh, another topic but when the glucose level will be dropped due to the increasing of more fat and even you are not going to the ketogenesis because ketogenesis is the later on will work but initial time of the eating of fat will not work so anyhow later on you can consume fat too much because it will convert into the ketones because the adaptation of the ketogenesis required the time even years two years so that is very hard because the keto acidosis can be possible if the sudden increase of the ketone so body will our body is on the basis of homeostasis but will not work easily so the adaptation of all type of things according to the exogenous and endogenous changes required the time for the fixation of that environment so that that is important things so the adaptation is too much important in this way the whenever you will eat fat but not eat glucose not eat anything your fat go into the liver and stimulate uh, the gluconeogenesis because but it is also required the time and craving will occur but the ketones will not produce even because the sudden amount of glucose required for normal function because already our body is going with the glucose anyhow glyco gly gluconeogenesis will occur uh, when you will eat too much fat because our body learned the fat is too much so you should convert this fat into the glucose so the gluconeogenesis will occur in the liver and glucose will move into the blood circulatory system and whenever the glucose will will, will be hypoglycemia to isoglycemia to hyperglycemia will occur will uh, hyperglycemia will target to the uh, uh, target to the beta cell of pancreas islet of langerhans contain glucagon and beta cell contain uh, uh, glucagon contain uh, alpha cell and beta cell contain uh, the insulin so insulin will when rise the glucose will target to the beta cell will release the uh, basically insulin when it release the insulin will target to the several type of tissue like adipose tissue and in this way whenever you will eat more fat if you are already insulin resistance you are diabetic so your muscle will not work for it your liver will not work for it and in this way, the growth hormone will not stimulate because of too much glucose will increase in this way whenever you will eat so the growth hormone should be decreased because the gluconeogenesis produce more glucose that glucose will target to the specific tissue and in this way the uh, insulin will spike already uh, so it is the important thing you should need to understand that liver produce more glucose from the fats so whenever you will eat more fat during the ketogenesis that fat will be converted into the glucose through gluconeogenesis and stimulate the pancreas to stimulate the insulin that is why the insulin will spike and this insulin spike you, you don't know about that and you are gaining more weight more fat containing weight so you don't know about that i am working the ketogenic diet but it is not working what is the problem behind it so this is the problem so that is why whenever you will eat more fat it means the storage of the fat will be more because the insulin will spike whenever you will eat more fat so it means the weight will be more gain not weight weight drop so 
so what is the uh, strategy for inhibition for this insulin spike so you should eat less amount of the fat not too much fat because the less amount of fat will work for the ketogenesis work for the fat loss and work for the normal physiology of your body i hope you make sense about that if you like my video please make sure to subscribe see in the next video with a different topic so give the comment below for uh, making a new topic if you want so thanks for watching bye for this time see you in the next video